Today, we're gonna to be looking at Turkesterone. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason here on this channel. I do food and product reviews. Today, it's a supplement review, Turkesterone. What is it? Should you be taking it? And is it good for you? We will dive into this and hopefully answer some of those questions for you. All right, Turkesterone, what is it? It is a plant-based steroid, a safe alternative to steroids with no side effects. As far as research has shown so far, no side effects from this. People are taking it, obviously bodybuilders, people going to the gym, trying to build more muscle. But this is supposed to help. Um, results, people have been saying, about five pounds of muscle they've been putting on in a month. I've been taking it for a week. I'll tell you what's been going on, how I've been feeling and I will update, do update videos for the first month, you know, so this is week one, end of week one. I'll do three more, you know, end of week two, end of week three, end of week four to give updates on how I'm feeling. I have a three month supply here. So then month two, I'll probably just do an update at the end of the month, same thing at uh, month three. Unless something major happens, I'd update sooner. So like I said, it's a natural steroid, not banned in sports yet, even though maybe if you check on YouTube, there'll be videos that be like, Turk is gonna be banned. Maybe, or is that just clickbait? So take it for what it is. As of right now, there's no need to ban it because it doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, are the results that you get, is it real? Is it in your head? Again, we'll dive into it. And hopefully over the course of this month, I will be able to answer some of those questions a little better for you. So there's 60 pills in here. And I got these from Gorilla Mine. There's a bunch of different companies online that you can buy them from. All pretty much the same price, $60. So basically a dollar a pill. Not cheap, especially for how many people are taking. So like I said, it's a natural supplement. Along the lines, people are getting results at some steroids without the side effects. So why am I taking it? I've been working out a lot, going to the gym. Uh, I've lost 33 pounds over the last eight months. I've decreased my size, added a lot of muscle mass, maybe not a lot. In my mind, I have, and I'd like to get a little bigger. And I'm just, I was just starting to look for, you know, I'm on creatine. I, I take my protein and make sure I get the right amount of protein each day and try to have somewhat of a decent diet. Okay, the whole diet thing, no. I eat whatever I want, but I'm still losing weight. Um, I just wanted something to help out build muscle a little more. And when I saw this and like, okay, no side effects, it's natural. Okay, I jumped on it immediately when I saw a video. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. I'll buy three bottles. That'll last me a long time. 60 pills in there, that'll be what? I'm thinking at the time when I bought this, I just take one pill a day, you know, I've got like six months worth of pills here, that's good. Ordered it, then started watching more videos on this and seeing these guys, these guys are jacked. I mean, the big bodybuilders are pushing these things. And they're like, I'm taking six pills. Some guys are taking eight pills a day. I'm like, then I started thinking like, wait, I only ordered three bottles. This is $180. I can't do that every month. I can't do six pills. And I'm like, ah, oh, I just need to cancel this order. This is ridiculous. And I kept watching video after video after video. And it's all these big muscle bound guys that are just huge. Probably don't need it in the first place. They're already huge. Pushing it and saying they need to take six pills. Well, they're also all selling it on their you know, on their videos and affiliate links. So of course they're gonna say six pills. They want you to take a bunch and order more. None of them, I found out watching those videos and I've watched quite a few of them. None of them were saying, hey, you know, I tried six, I tried two, comparison, and none of them were doing it. They're all just saying, hey, take six pills. And I started thinking, well, it's because they're trying to sell you pills. Of course, taking two pills for them, isn't gonna do anything. You, if you took two pills and bought these bottles off their site, you're not gonna need as many. Of course they want you to push six pills. So I kept going, I, I was like, oh, I, I can't do this. There's, I'm, even if I did this, so six pills a day would be these three bottles, $180. If I did this and I got great results, that would suck. Because then I'd be like, oh, I need to keep doing this and I can't afford three bottles a month. I can't, I don't make that much money. I can't do it. Maybe some of these guys on these channels are huge and they make a lot of money. They can afford to take six pills a day. I can't. Even two pills a day, that's still $60 a month. I mean, a lot of us, and I'm sure you're the same way, you know, our budgets are pretty stretched as it is. Can we afford 
to take another, you know, pay another $60 a month on something and is it gonna be worth it? So that's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna try to, I'm doing two pills a day. So I'm gonna do two pills a day. I have, so that'd be one bottle a month. Like I said, I'm gonna do it for three months and see what type of results I get and see, is it gonna work for you? Because I finally did find a video online, just a normal guy doing Turk. And that's what we're gonna call it, Turk, and Turk instead of Turk Estorm. Just gonna call it Turk from now on in the video. Uh, he was on Turk and he was doing two pills a day. I finally found someone said two pills a day. And he said immediately started feeling, you know, getting more of a pump. You know, after you lift weights, you have a pump. Your, your muscles get a lot of blood in them and they pump up for, you know, sometimes an hour, two hours. He was saying this pump was lasting till the next morning. Okay, I haven't experienced that yet. I'll go into more of what I've been experiencing in a little bit. So he was getting a longer lasting pump. He said his focus went up like he was, whatever that means, his focus increased. Um, his appetite increased too, said he was eating a ton. And his bathroom experience was getting a little worse. It was, he had to go poopy a lot and not solid, it was liquid. So it was upsetting his stomach. Week two, he switched and started taking, it was either week two or week three. He, I think week two, he switched and was taking six pills a day and said it made his stomach even worse. You know, made it, you know, stomach issues increased, but he didn't see any increase in performance, in the pump, in strength gain, anything. From two pills to six pills, he wasn't noticing any difference, but he was having more discomfort. So he switched back down to two pills. So when I saw that video, I was like, okay, this guy's getting results off two pills. Wasn't getting any difference in results in six pills. Okay, I will do two pills and see how it works. I can, that gives me three months. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two pills for three months and see what happens. Now, I would love to be able to then after that, maybe a month or for two months, take six pills and see if there's a difference. It's expensive, so if there's any company out there that's selling Turk and you wanna send me some bottles so I can do this comparison of two pills to six pills, I'll take them. I won't say no to that. So if you wanna send me some pills, go right ahead. Um, but for this experiment, for this three months, it's gonna be two pills a day. So the, the video I saw, he said he had a longer pump. I've been doing it a week and I've been somewhat injured. Like right when I got these pills, I was having shoulder issues. I think I lifted too hard one day and my shoulder was giving me pain. So the first couple days on it, I wasn't lifting. I think I took three days off at the very beginning. The first three days, I wasn't lifting. Then I had uh, arm day and it did seem to do a little better. I, th I don't, in the end, everything I'm gonna tell you, is it in my head? Was I looking for results or was it real? But was it because I took those three days off or was it because of the Turk? But I normally, it was arm day. So arm day, I lift here at the house, in my apartment with dumbbells. I have 20s and 30s. So I will do alternating arm curls, uh, hammer curls, uh, tricep kickbacks and overhead extensions. So those are the four I do. And I will do three sets and the reps, I start off with 10, the 30s, and then I'll do a drop set with the 20s. So normally before I was on the Turk, say the alternating curls, with the 30s, I would get nine or 10 reps. Then I was maxed out on the 30s. Then I would do a drop set with the 20s, and I would get to about seven. This first arm routine on Turk, again, was it because I took three days off? Was I looking for better results? I don't know. My 30 rep was 12, and then my drop set of 20 went up to 10. So there was an increase. Is it because of this? I don't know. We will see as the weeks go on and more. I get more um, workouts, out, workouts in, will that you know, progression continue? Um, today was chest day with Planet Fitness for today's chest day and use the machines there, and I did feel a little better. I mean, I didn't increase the weight, because I didn't want to just, because one, I'm still, it's feeling better, it's not hurting, I didn't want to push it too much and re-injure my shoulder. So I kept my weights at what I normally do, but it felt like it was easier to do them. And the machine that gets me the most with the shoulder is the overhead chest extension, right? Like usually, it's that first push 
of the weight, like I can feel. Once I get it up here, I'm fine. But it's that first push. Today, nothing, no pain with it. It was like even before I injured my shoulder, every time I would use that machine, I'd just get a little like discomfort doing that one. Today, no discomfort. Again, is that because of this or I don't know. We will see again as the workouts go on, will uh, things get better? You know, is this helping? You know, is it gonna cut down on the amount of pain I have? Am I gonna get better results? Longer lasting pump. Right now, week one, I'm thinking I'm seeing some better, you know, results with the weightlifting. Um, pain wise, I think I feel better. I'm not hurting. Uh, my sleep, I think, has gotten better. I don't know if Turk is supposed to help out with your sleep, but I think I'm sleeping. I don't sleep sound the entire night. I still get up. I usually get up like midnight and have a snack. I do that every night. Ugh. I wish I didn't, but I do. Um, but I would normally get up like almost every hour to go to the bathroom or something. I would just wake up. The last few nights I have slept, you know, other than waking up at midnight, I sleep pretty good. And the one day I got woke up by my alarm for work, which never happens. Usually I wake up half hour, 45 minutes before my alarm goes off almost every day. I was sleeping right to my alarm. So maybe Turk is helping with sleep. I will keep an eye on that and update you next week. See if any of that changes. Um, the what the guy in the video said his uh, appetite increased. I've not noticed that. I would say maybe my appetite has decreased. Um, I will show you some pictures. So let me see. Okay, so here is a before and after. The, uh, which one's which? Uh, the one on the right is me at the beginning of the week when I first took the pill. And I'm 160 there. I took my weight like later in the day. I normally weigh myself right in the morning before I get up and eat anything. So that was, I think, later on in the day, that's why I'm 160, where the one on the left was today, 155 at the time of taking that photo. So a little lighter. So that may show some different results too. I may look maybe a little more cut because I'm five pounds lighter in that picture. Um, other than that, looking at it, I don't see any difference. I don't know, maybe you can pixel peep and see I don't see any more uh, muscle growth or pump or anything. Yeah, it looks like the abs are a little more prominent, but again, I'm five pounds lighter. Um, next time I do, uh, for the end of this upcoming week, I will do the photo, you know, middle day, not at the morning when I'm, you know, at my lightest. I'll take it as the photo on the right, you know, later on in the day. So we can see the results a little better. Uh, yeah, so appetite, like I said, was, hasn't, I haven't seen an increase. I might say I've seen a decrease in appetite and maybe that's why I've dropped so much weight in this week. And again, is that due to Turk? Is Turk suppressing my appetite some? I'll keep an eye on that. Um, cause the big thing that it's suppressing or I don't know if it's suppressing or if it's in my head is sugar. Prior to taking Turk, I was eating a lot of sugar. Like I eat, that's why I went back and when I said, oh, my diet's good. No, my diet's not good. I eat everything and anything. If you went and look at my pantry out there, there's, there's mini donuts, mini apple pies. There was jelly beans. I threw out the jelly beans, um, candy bars, potato chips, bunch of snacks, just garbage. And I would usually take that to work. I, I work at Sam's Club, I associate there. So for my lunch, I would take a lunch box. I, I would take like a ham sandwich or peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but then I'd have a bag of jelly beans in there, some mini donuts, an apple pie, a candy bar, some chips, just garbage, just all sugar. And my coworker who's like trying to lose weight and he's sitting there watching me just shove my face and he would bring me donuts. I'm like, oh yes, I'll take more donuts. And I'm like, I eat it because I'm, I'm trying to put on calories because I'm not losing any, I mean, I'm not gaining any weight, I'm still losing weight, but I just was going crazy over sugar. And since taking Turk, I still bring all that stuff in my lunchbox, but I don't eat it. I don't want it. It's not like I'm like, oh, I, I shouldn't have it. I just don't have an appetite for it. I eat my sandwich, I'm like, mm, jelly beans, this and that. Normally I would be eating handfuls. I don't want it. I, my body is craving more protein, more substance. So now I'm taking two sandwiches 
because I don't want all the other garbage that I've been eating. I'm just not hungry for it. So it's not that I've cut out all sugar, but I've cut it out a lot. Like those mini donuts, the mini Hostess Crunch Donuts are like, oh man, those are so good. Last time I went to the store, I bought two. One bag hasn't even been opened. The other bag, I just finished it last night and it lasts me the whole week. Usually it lasts me like a day or two. Just, just haven't craved them. And the only reason I finished them last night, I'm like, well, they've been sitting here. They're gonna go stay. I guess I'll have them. Like my sugar and my snack cravings have gone way down. And I don't know. We will see as the months go on. Is it because of Turk? We'll find out. So what I'm looking for week two, will I see any change, you know, in lifting? Will the pain stay away? Will I be able to lift heavier weights or at least lift what I'm lifting more comfortably? Um, will my sleep continue to stay good? How will the appetite continue? We'll see if everything's continued. As of right now, do I, how do I feel? Do I think it's the Turk? Is it all in my head? Is it a placebo effect? I don't know yet. We're only going on one week. It's too early, too little of data to really make any final analysis yet. We still have plenty of time. We got three bottles here. So we will see how it goes. Um, as of right now, what I'm feeling, like if this stays for the three months, like it, what I'm experiencing right now doesn't change, would I continue to buy Turk? No. Like I, the results I'm getting right now aren't enough for me to justify $60 a month. But if it increases, like if I start seeing some growth in muscle and some of these other areas continue to do well, like if for the three months, if I don't injure myself because I get injured quite a bit with lifting, you know, it was my wrist for a while. I haven't done push-ups in months because I injured my wrist doing push-ups. Then it was my elbows. I couldn't curl for a while. Now it was my shoulder. So if I can go this three months without any injuries, any pains, then I'll be like, okay, this is the first time. Maybe that's because of Turk. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. There you go. Turk Estrone. Gonna do two pills. I'm gonna update you every week for this first month and then we'll do one after the end of the second month, end of the third month and let you know, is it something you can do? Is it something for you? Is it something you need? Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna do six pills unless the company wants to send me some pills to take because I can't afford that. So if you have any questions or anything, or maybe you've been taking it and you have some results and you want to share with me and the community, leave it down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And hopefully I'll see you next week for week two on Turk Rastrum.